Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. When we go to purchase a flat or a house and when we first meet builders, developers, brokers and real estate agents, they use some terms like carpet area, built up area, super built up area, loading factor etc. When buying a house, you usually pay for the number of square feet you are going to be occupying. It is best to know what it is that you will be paying for, why and what we actually get, whether our decision is right or wrong. If we see the compliance file in consumer code, the maximum number of cases are against builders and developers on the issue of cheating the home buyers. Home buyers in India often complain that the real estate sector is heavily tilted in the favor of builders and developers. That is why the government passed the RERA Act in the year 2016 to make real estate transactions between customers and developers fairer and more equitable. RERA means Real Estate Regulation and Development Act passed by the central government has now made it mandatory to sell flats on the basis of corporate area only. Under the RERA Act, the real estate developer or builder is responsible for making buyers aware of corporate area of property. They must clearly define the corporate area, built up area and super built up area. The prices of the property must be based on the corporate area and not on super built up area. The home buyers have every right to know about corporate area because this is the area where many people get cheated. So let's start with corporate area. Corporate area is also called as net usable floor area. It is the space where one can spread a carpet or it is the area on which you can place your furniture. For your better clarity, I am listing out the inclusions and exclusions in carpet area. According to RERA Act 2016, carpet area is the net usable floor area of an apartment or house which includes Area covered by internal partition walls, living room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, toilet, staircases within the house or flat. Carpet area excludes external area, common areas, exclusive balcony or veranda area, lift and lobby, clubhouse, exclusive open terrace area, flower bed. Now, this brings a clarity which was not there before RERA was introduced. Now, what's the difference between RERA carpet area and carpet area? The only difference between RERA carpet area and carpet area is the thickness of the internal partition walls. In RERA carpet area, the thickness of the internal walls is included. While in the general carpet area, it is excluded. Approximately, there is a 5 percentage difference between both the carpet area. RERA carpet area is 5 percentage more than the general carpet area. For your reference, this is the plan of 1 BHK flat. And this is the carpet area which is marked in blue color. How to calculate RERA carpet area? It is easy to calculate RERA carpet area because the carpet area in your apartment is between 70% to 90% of its total built up area. Let's take an example of a real apartment carpet area calculation. Suppose an apartment has a 2000 square feet built up area and 70% is the general carpet area. Then 2000 into 70 divided by 100, you will get 1400 square feet as the general carpet area. Approximately, there is a 
5 percentage difference between the general carpet area and rara carpet area. Here the rara carpet area is 1400 plus 1400 into 0.05. So you will get 1470 square feet. There is also a formula to calculate rara carpet area. Rara carpet area is equal to net usable area of the apartment which exclude external walls, terrace area, balcony area and veranda area plus areas of internal partition walls. Now let's discuss about built up area. Built up area is the sum of carpet area area of exterior walls, area of interior walls, balcony, exterior staircase, service shafts, exclusive terrace, other livable areas if any. The built up area is 70% to 80% of super built up area. Here I am showing the plan of 2BHK flat which you can compare and you can refer this plan in which green color shows carpet area, blue color is added for external walls, balconies, services, shafts, it all comprises of built up area. Built up area excludes open terrace area, lift and lift lobby, common staircase, clubhouse, swimming pool etc. How to calculate built up area? Usually built up area is 10% to 15% more than the carpet area. So, if your rara carpet area is 1211 square feet, then the built up area will be 1211 plus 1211 into 0.10. So, you will get 1332.1 square feet and 1211 plus 1211 into 0 0.15 so you will get 1392.65 square feet built up area will be between 1332.1 square feet and 1392.65 square feet now let us discuss about super built up area i will explain super built up area with my Personal example, in the year 2014 when I was searching for a flat, I came across this complicated situation. There was a difference between the area of a flat which was constructed before 10 years and the area of recently constructed flat. I have two options. Option 1 is the flat which was constructed before 10 years has the area of 900 square feet and its value is 65 lakh rupees. Its per square feet rate will be 65 lakh divided by 900 square feet which is equal to rupees 7222 per square feet. Option 2 is recently constructed flat has the area of 1200 square feet and its value is 70 lakh rupees. Its per square feet rate will be 70 lakh divided by 1200 square feet which is equal to rupees 5833 per square feet. Here you will say that option 2 is better than option 1 because area is more and rate per square feet is also less. But when you visit this flat directly then you will feel that area of flat in option 1 looks bigger when compared to option 2 flat. The reason was in option 1 900 square feet is the built up area. In option 2 1200 square feet is the super built up area. When I asked about these areas to a real estate builder, he told me about the loading factor. The loading on recently constructed flat is more. The difference between super built up area and the carpet area of the flat is known as loading factor. 
This is used to add constructed spaces that are not exclusive to you such as elevators, lobby, maintenance room, parking, etc. If the loading factor is 1.50, it suggests that the builder has added 50% to your corporate area. When a builder constructs a building, he constructs common areas like clubhouse, lift lobby, staircase, etc. which will be used by all people in a building. So, while desiring the price of a flat, he adds the area of these common amenities in individual flats. Super built up area is the built up area plus proportionate share of common areas such as lobbies, staircases, lift shafts, clubhouse, air ducts, pipe ducts or shafts and other covered common facilities. Super built up area excludes open areas such as play areas, gardens, parks, driveways and roof terrace. Super built up area is approximately 20 to 40 percentage more than the corporate area. So dear viewers, in this video I have tried to explain the concept of corporate area, built up area, super built up area, loading factor. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly do subscribe Civil Engineering Shailu's updates, click bell icon, click all, share this video and don't forget to give a like. Thank you.